Brett Stevens and Gail Collins, Kamala Harris has an unexpected ally. That's the title of the piece. So I want you to listen so you'll understand how the never Trump conservative mind works. So uh, he is speaking about how he will vote for Kamala Harris. And I read to, to you excerpts from the banter between the two of them, published in the New York Times. Brett Stevens, kicking and screaming, I'll cast my ballot for Harris. I really would rather have just sat out Election Day, but January 6th and election denialism are unforgivable. And as my friend Richard North Patterson likes to say, Donald Trump is literally bleeping crazy. Did you happen to see this? Yeah, so this is fascinating. So why is this otherwise conservative and the only one really, well, Ross Douthat is is conservative too. Of their 50 columnists, or there are two that, that lean conservative. So why is he going to vote for Kamala, Kamala Harris? Which is uh, very sad to me because I respect uh, Brett Stevens. It's very sad. But it gives you an insight into the mindset. So two unforgivable sins. Denialism, which is re- really fascinating because what he did, Brett Stevens, is adopt the left-wing rhetoric. The, le- the left always has an ism. It's like climate denialism. There's always, it's like a doctrine. If I don't agree with you, you have a, a doctrine. So uh, the, the mere statement that I don't, I, Donald Trump, don't believe I, it was a fair election in 2020, that invalidates him. Hillary Clinton said that her election was not valid, her, her defeat was not valid. Uh, but that apparently, it doesn't matter to people on the left. I'm, I'm, I don't quite understand why you, you are disqualified f- no matter what the Democrats put up, no matter what type of candidate, Donald Trump is disqualified because he doesn't believe that he lost the last election. The whole Russia hoax was denialism. The Russia hoax was denialism? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. They just, I mean, they, they well, who, on whose part? I don't quite follow. The Democrats. They created it. Oh, the, well, yeah. All right. So, yeah. So, they, that was a, his newspaper led the way of lying about uh, 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 about the Russia hoax. The, it, it is not clear to me why Brett Stephens feels this way. He knows how bad Kamala Harris is. But he's going to vote for her anyway because of January 6th. What does What is Donald Trump's role in January 6th when he said, go peacefully? And and did did was anything done after January sixth, which was not an insurrection, by the way. The it's a lie of the grandiosest proportions to argue it was an insurrection. You're telling me that these people, these unarmed people, ninety percent of whom, ninety five percent of whom walked in peacefully, when the doors were open for them from inside. They were trying to overthrow the American government? Isn't that a lie? Like Trump said, there are fine people on both sides. Isn't They're all lies. But anyway, this is enough for Brett Stephens not to vote for Donald Trump. January 6th and election denialism. So she so so he continues. It's a ninety nine point nine 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 percent vote against Trump, and zero point zero 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 one percent vote for Harris. That that's how he that's how that's I, I'm reading you this so you'll understand the never Trump mind. I know Harris will ruin my country, 
but but I can't vote for Donald Trump. That's what he's saying. So her response, Gail Gail Collins, the 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 left wing of the two, the leftist of the two. And to bolster the argument, how about a short list of the things that bother you most about your new choice for president of the United States? Okay, so here is his response. Ready? And he's going to vote, despite what he's about to say, he will vote for Kamala Harris. If the GOP had nominated Nikki Haley, Ron DeSantis, or Doug Burgum, I'd be voting Republican. Probably even Tim Scott. That's how reluctant I was to vote for her. So he would vote for any Republican except Donald Trump. I fear that Harris is every bit as vacuous behind the scenes as she seems to be on the public stage. I fear she will be tested early by a foreign adversary and stumble badly whether it's in stopping Iran from building a nuclear weapon or China from blockading Taiwan or Russia from seizing a portion of a Baltic country. I fear she will capitulate too easily to her party's left flank, especially when it comes to identity politics, economic policy, or polarizing cultural issues. I fear she'll have no domestic policy ideas that don't involve mindlessly expanding the role of government. I fear she'll surround herself with mediocre advisors, like her embarrassing, embarrassingly bad Veep pick. I fear she won't muster the political will to curb mass migration. That's all? That's the only objections he has to her? Yeah, I knew it would blow your mind. It's breathtaking. It is breathtaking. He is certain she will be a calamity for Western civilization, and he will vote for her. That is why it is called Trump derangement syndrome. It is. When one abandons rational, moral thought on one issue, it it becomes a derangement. It is a syndrome. It is. It's correct. It's a syndrome. A man I respect, Brett Stephens. I mean, this is a horror list. This is, the world will enter chaos if Kamala Harris wins and he's voting for her. Yeah. By the way, he, he's not, he does not have a list of, of equally awful things that will happen if, if Donald Trump is elected. He just thinks he's, he's nuts. He's denial of my two reasons, January 6th and, and, and election denialism. So here's the summary of Trump derangement syndrome. Ready? The next line. I'd rather take my chances with a president whose competence I doubt and whose policies I dislike than one whose character I detest. That's it. I will take policies I know will hurt America and the world. I know it. The bad actors on earth, China, Iran, Russia, will be emboldened by a Kamala Harris victory, but I hate Donald Trump's character. That is a syndrome. That is not rational. It is not moral. That's all that matters. I. That's why I've said this is a form, and again, I am not just saying this. I have great respect for Brett Stephens. But uh, this is a this is a, a narcissistic view. I don't like Trump's character, therefore screw America and screw the world. That's what the never Trumper is saying. He knows how bad Kamala Harris is. Did any of that happen when Trump was president? <laughs> 